We're about to lose one. Get the intruder. Copy. We're almost there. Security breach. Attacking the area. Security breach. Shit, I've got movement. Where? Everywhere. Contact! Hey, yo, what's happening, everybody? Back so soon? Back so soon, really? Already? Yes, well, it's a double shot day. Good to have you here for a little SVM. Well, Tom Clancy, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Spies vs. Mercs multiplayer action SVM classic game mode. The putrid green of the... of the uh, night vision goggles, yes. <laughs> Washing out the map. We are on the silo. I do enjoy this map. Um... You know, wish the secondary spawn for the spies was a little... You know, it would be nice if there was like a little extra design somewhere where they could spawn a little bit more safely. But, uh, well, what can you do? You know, what can you do? But for the for the most part, I have a good time on this map. Uh, there are usually some great battles that can play out here. And it's no cakewalk on either side, right? Really depends how things unfold, you know. Now right here, just kind of creeping up, trying to, trying to gain some ground. Often... In, in classic, everything slows down a little bit. Spies are, are trying to gain ground slowly. And, and are, in many instances, waiting for the mercs to, uh, to make a mistake or cross your path. You know, you're waiting for the merc to kind of move in on you. And, and you can strike from the shadows, you know. And experienced spies simply set up in locations that end up, you know, yielding good kills or end up being, you know, a high traffic areas. Now, that's not always the case, but you know what? When every Merc is basically outfitted with the motion tracking and, uh, you know, you don't have the ability to see through walls and track your targets, um, you have to play with a greater sense of of stealth and, and caution. And that's not always true. I mean, it really does depend on how long you've been playing with your teammate, how good the two of you are, and the kind of the, the, the level of competition you're going up against. But I certainly wasn't going to walk in here and take these guys lightly. Rock Redder, I think is the name, and uh, and Yoshi. and they Because they were both sporting the same clan tag. And I had never really played at this point. Never, I you know, never really noticed Gulliog, even though he was in the uh, the, li the other video, in the blacklist video. He was on the opposition in that video, uh, in this double shot day, just by chance. So there we go. It's uh, today's word of the day is Gulliog. Yes, Gulliog. Now right here, get a little lucky, host advantage probably, most likely, as uh, I was really. Uh, anticipating him coming down the outer lane of the sector, you know, closest to me, along the side of the wall. That's where it sounded like he was coming from, and I was already stepping out in anticipation, you know. There it is, that, that the weakness, the inability to look through walls, nearly cost me my life there, but I made it work in the end. And uh, and got the slice and dice with a little bit of luck. Perhaps the gods were, were smiling down upon me. And uh, make a beeline for the C sector before his teammate could, you know, could make any noise, you know, send any uh, any ruckus my way, any trouble my way, bring any trouble my way, and uh, a little one-two punch and, and catch Yoshi yet again as I get his throat, get his neck, and do, some, do a little slice of the dice on it, yes. A little Ginsu work. Now right here, the teammate does drop down into the tunnel as well. I was considering trying to do the ledge grab, but I figured these guys are on to stuff like that. I didn't want to... You know, I, I wanted to try and carry this deep if I could, and I thought a reposition at this point was probably the right choice. You can see, especially with Guliog positioned where he is, I thought it might be good to circle around. He is at least one line of, you know, one one layer of defense uh, working for me. But, of course, he gets tracked down as we watch him get gunned down by Rock Redder at a very, well, a bit of an obscene angle there, especially with the smoke grenade down. I don't know if he pursued right into the room or what exactly happened there. I've lost track of... Uh, of the man. He may have passed entirely through the spawn. Then again, that could be him at the uh, the far end of the room right now. I'm, I have a feeling that somebody's kind of coming up on my backside. Yes, we see the, well, we see the uh, the flashlight moving in. And, and everything worked out well with Guliog moving back into the uh, sector and Rock Rider moving underfoot. Uh, I managed to get a nice little death from above on him before Yoshi could 
well, could really push in on me. He was forced to deal with my teammate. He puts a last little bit of fire on me, my way, just hoping that maybe he would scare me around the corner. But a little, you know, a little drop, a little slice, a little grab, and a little slice and dice. And I send Yoshi to the, uh, to the next life yet again. So having a pretty good run here early on, you know, despite a, a botched attempt early on in A. I did make up for it here as I pushed deep and, and brought in the hack with a little help from my friends. Yes, he was certainly in there mixing things up, playing a distraction at times. Uh, I was trying to utilize him when I could as a bit of a, a, bit of a wall, you know, uh, against the mercs. And here he comes, he's respawned. Really wasn't expecting the uh, the courtyard spawn, but that's good, that's good. I give him the heads up to head for A, and I, he actually does, you know, so I don't know if he saw it or if he was going to do it regardless, but he turned around and went deep for this sector and picks this hack up as I continue on my, you know, my bloodshedding ways, yes. The sin, the sinful hurts at work, yeah, at play. Snatching souls and sending them to the next life. And claiming them, devouring them as my own. Good lord. What has this game come to? Anyway. Uh, Guliog, you know, running a pretty good hack here. Unfortunately, if we turn around, we get a good look at the courtyard. You're gonna see that he's not... I don't like where he's positioned, especially since he's carrying the hack. Uh, especially since I don't think he's quite as experienced as, you know, many other players that are out there. And he's got a real, you know, a real tight perimeter on this sector. And I'm not a big fan of that. You know, I'd rather he sat back in the shadows and let me go to town here and I have a feeling that eventually it, you know well, it's gonna come around and bite him in the ass and it does right there in the form of Yoshi and his gunfire yes and he gets put down now Yoshi doesn't really make a great play here as he uh, he pins himself on that outer lane um, and it allows me to move in and pick up this hack at about the midway point so Gulag definitely did carry it we, we got a few slices and dices together and uh, unfortunately, I just don't think he was in a great position there carrying the hack. And and even I, you know, as I get the hack, at this stage in the game, I decide it's time for me to fall back. We'll let Guliog do what he can do. But uh, he falls pretty quickly to a, a little more fire from the Yoshi man. As he comes, you know, spitting some lead my way. He's clearly tracking me at this point. Got me in, got, well, he had me in his sights there temporarily. And now I hear the footsteps coming in, luckily, you know, and a good spawn here from Guliog as he comes in to cut uh, Yoshi off at the pass, perhaps make him think that, well, this was the man he was chasing. If he wasn't watching who he was killing, then, you know, that I may have gotten away there scot-free with the help of Guliog, basically, in there running a little interference, you know. Now, right there, really close on the quick phase, uh, got myself kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Clearly, Rock Rider not quite as on the ball as, as Yoshi is in there, as, uh, as he should have been aware that there was a spy closing in on him. Now, I don't know if he was just trying to sprint forward to keep his distance on me and, and was getting ready to do a quick 180 and, and fill me full of lead, but I don't know, especially with with me, that, uh, you know, the quick taste sent, sent, being sent his way and him not really reacting to any of that. Uh, the only thing that I think really saved him there from uh, from my, my pursuit uh, was uh, Yoshi, you know, as I rounded that corner and ran right into his goddamn glaring headlights and uh, some hot lead being sent my way, you know. So anyway, trying to get a little creative here. It's always tough grabbing that last sector, getting it, you know, getting it initiated, breaking down the defenses, especially on guys that are pro that are in communication, uh, that are probably saying, "Listen, we need to lock this shit down. What is happening here? What is happening?" They've, uh, they're, they're certainly, I would imagine, in a bit of a, well, a bit of a frenzy down there, wanting to make sure, ensure that this, uh, that this terminal doesn't get touched. Now, I do like this entry point. You can, you know, you can get really wide here if you play it well. They were a little lacking in their defenses at this end of the room. And often it can be overlooked, including by myself and, and other solid players. You know, they may not check this location too actively. But it looks like I may have drawn a little attention to myself. As you can see, the flashlight is shining in here into the ventilation shaft. I'm forced to kind of fall back for a second here. It's nice to see Guliog bringing up the rear, you know, and moving in on, on a similar, you know, position. Uh, I get the sticky cam down just to get a good sense of what's happening here. I was hoping perhaps there was a man posted up at the door a little closer. I could blow him, you know, sky high and then go in for the hacking and, and save the day. Yes. <laughs> And uh, but it just doesn't play out that way. As they're, they're working a real... I think there's a man up on the catwalk at this point. I think they're both kind of watching those front doors. But it does allow me the opportunity, especially with Guliog making his move at the exact same time. And it does allow me to get deep here. 
and uh, drift into the shadows. I'm just, uh, I'm a little cautious to make the, my, you know, my move. Whatever I do next, it's really gonna be, you know, for all the marbles, I think, at this point. Um, we're down past the final minute. We, the two-minute warning came and went, well, well over a minute ago at this point, yes. And, uh, and here I am, just kind of lurking on the other side of the truck, trying to gain a little ground. Didn't play this too badly, sent the EMP grenade a little too far, smoked them up, tried to get the flashbang, uh, down in time for it to be exploding just as I was closing in. I knew there was no chance in hell of me completely closing that gap before the, uh, um... Uh, before the, st the the tase wore off, you know, so the flashbang came out last second uh, in anticipation that perhaps I could get it actually up the stairs and it would have a f an effect on the man and it would allow me those final few steps of closure so that I could come in and do a little cracking on his neck, but it just didn't pay off. As I start to dish off my payload here, I do make a mad dash with mere seconds left. I do get the hack going amazingly, but uh, position myself fully in the VX toxic cloud of death, yes. And my lungs were liquefied. Oh, good lord. The horror. Damn. <laughs> anyway, uh, and there we go. Well, th that's it, you know. as Gulag, he makes a good attempt there. Uh, I think he actually, did he touch the terminal? No, he didn't quite get the hack going. As at that point, clearly they were, they had that terminal in their sights. They had the sucker triangulated. And nobody was going to be getting any more intel. Anyway, there it is, 204%. Not too bad. Two hacks for myself there. Well, one and a half, because I did pick up the slack off uh, of Guliog when he fell in A. And a nine and a four for me. And you can see, I mean... Well, the other two guys, they're not necessarily high ranks, but sometimes in Classic, you gotta take what you can get, you know? And uh, I don't play too much Classic for the most part. But it's fun getting in there from time to time, and I I did say that I was gonna try and get it into a bit of a rotation here on the channel, and I did for a little bit, but uh, since, uh, well, for a few weeks now, it's kind of been, well, it's kind of been lacking, hasn't it? So I thought to get something up would be nice, and uh, what better way to do it than with a double shot after there was a bit of a week's drought here. Uh, with the, uh, well, when you consider the, uh, the Splinter Cell content, you know. So here we go. Um, no real uh, kit rundown. This is just the standard classic gear. Uh, slow-ass, clunky-ass Merc, yes. <laughs> check. Um, flashlight, check, yes. And, uh, clip full of death, yes, check. Now we go off on the hunt. And, uh, a little hit marker there, so that was nice. They're obviously trying to push deep into the courtyard. Either that or they're getting an early perimeter up on the A sector and looking to make their move. And there we go. I get a little jump on an unsuspecting Yoshi as he was trying, you know, a little curious to see what had happened. Where, what had happened to the Merc who dished that that grenade my way as he was trying to reposition into the in, well, into the shadows, possibly trying to get a right underneath the vent so he had a, an easy access to the to the upper level and, and could perhaps drop in on me, you know, and surprise the shit out of me. But it just didn't pan out as I was all over him at the window. Get a little VX gas to back that up. I'm still, you know, clearly I'm still, I'm still convinced there's a man in there. Now I did hear the uh, the stun crossbow ring off. I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from. But uh, and now I'm hearing a little, a little footstep, a little, little gravel being, you know, being disturbed underfoot. Out around the corner, I get a nice little toxic gas cloud down as a safety blanket, and and I push through. As they pick up this hack in the A sector, and I did hear some footsteps to my right. You also see Yoshi, he's been listed as a defender. So putting him down, well that's kind of top priority. Get him down and then it's just one on one dealing with the hacker. As he tries to save his teammate, perhaps sensing impending doom. Tries to make a mad dash my way, but he does eat a shit. Well, what did he eat there? An elbow? I, I don't even know. The butt end of my gun, that's what he ate. He ate a, uh, you know... <laughs> yeah, a spoonful of his own teeth. And then he got sent packing. There we go. So I shook the hack down. Uh, did I take out Yoshi? I don't think I actually got the man. So he's still lurking around here somewhere. And uh, and I just kind of fall back. Actually, I think I'm about to drop some mines. Get a little perimeter down. I like doing this. This is, well, a highly sought after. Well, I wouldn't say it's highly sought after. It's a really powerful point on the map. When you're the Merc, especially in a classic game. You've got some great lines of sight. 
and you can guard A pretty pretty effectively from there. And I think we've seen this most recently in, in the last Silo uh, SVM Blacklist gameplay video that I got up here on the channel. As I had spent a little bit of time at the start of that Merc round, uh, posted up in that location, kind of glancing out towards, you know, the catwalk, the bridge, and, the, and this courtyard, the secondary spawn, and then back and forth between this and the A sector. So you've got some great lines of sight here. And it really does play well and, and much better for some two-on-two -two classic light and shadow gameplay, you know. That's when you want to be using a position like this. Not so much in Blacklist where the pace is a little bit harder, a little bit faster, and everything's a little bit more intense, you know. Well, I wouldn't say intense necessarily, but certainly uh, it runs at a faster pace, right? So, getting a little, basically, what this is I'm trying to sum up is that's why the uh, the mines are going down. Trying to get a small perimeter, an explosive perimeter down to protect myself. And you can see, you know, shrouding myself in a little bit of darkness. I kill the, uh, kill the flashlight. And I'm really just watching for any type of silhouette to cross, well, what is lit up out there. And I get a little fire his way. And it's not, again, it's not really a guaranteed kill as, as they cross by. Uh, every now and then you'll get, you know, some great luck and hit the headshot and, and send him straight to the afterlife. But uh, that certainly wasn't the case there. And now I'm forced to track track down the Rock Redder who, who just didn't move fast enough. Kind of wasting his time there checking or trying to shut down the camera. A bad play, a rookie mistake, you know, two on two. Nobody was dead. Uh, what are you doing taking out a camera? It's not like we have... Um, access to it at all times, right? So it was a bit of a bad play there. Maybe a little bit of a panicked move, just trying to maybe a little too cautious or trying to trying to guard himself a little bit too, uh, you know, <laughs> cover all of his bases a little bit too heavily. I'm not sure what he was doing there, but uh, it didn't pan out for him. And we see, oh, doing some fantastic up and in your face pistola work. First, I start with the pistol whip on the dropping in spy, and then circle around on an unsuspecting rock rider. And, uh, and put one into the back of his head on a great little melee takedown. Uh, and uh, and get my reload in on uh, on the weapon, on the assault rifle. And we're back on the hunt. Guliog and myself. So these guys, you know what, clearly not quite as, you know, well, not not as experienced as me. Um, and, uh, and I'm not trying to proclaim that or say that. You know, certainly I think I probably had the advantage. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you in the next round that we played, the two guys got their shit together. And beat myself and Guliog pretty, pretty severely. And then I think everybody just kind of went their separate ways after that. And uh, so it all ended, uh, uh, well, a one and one. I hate to give away the ending. But at this point, with only four minutes left, there's not much hope, you know. They've really been doing a little bit, perhaps a little bit too much pussyfooting. Uh, and you never want to see that happen in, in, in the classic where, you know, when you, you've you had your merc round, and you've given up a couple of terminals, and now you've drifted beyond the halfway point of your spy run, and you have yet to grasp a terminal. You know, now the pressure's on. Now everything has to accelerate. You have to pick up the pace because you've got to pull in a terminal within the next minute and a half you know if you really because well at this point I really don't think that they're gonna be able to would even be able to win at that point because not only do they have to carry that terminal completion they have to get one more and then have enough time before overtime <laughs> to pick up a, a third one because I did manage to touch that one that uh, that B sector on the spy side of things for that four percent so like I said at this point uh, victory for us is pretty well secured and, and the guys were just, you know, the, the opponents maybe a little bit too cautious in their gameplay coming out of the gate, you know. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, losing a couple of terminals. They weren't expecting it to go down that way. And, and they were a little, you know, maybe a little thrown off of their game. But I'll tell you, like I said, they picked the slack up in the next round and, and embarrassed us. Yes. <laughs> right here. Not, you know, Rock Rider just kind of hanging around up there. Oh, my God. Did I really just do that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I do have moments of greatness, people. They're few and far between, but they do arrive from time to time. And it's always nice when they make a video. Yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we're, I don't know. I don't know. Rambling just nonsensically at this point. Anyway, you see they got a good spawn as they both come flooding out. Well, one in the courtyard. They get a nice little tase on me. I'm playing a little lackadaisically at this point. Oh, no. The thunder and the lightning. Oh, good lord. The gun show coming my way. As uh, as I feel their wrath, they get some nice revenge on the old Hertzman. 
and uh, and gave me a taste of my own medicine. As they they had all the the fireworks blare, you know, and there was I think there was smoke, EMPs, flashbangs. I don't know. Maybe maybe that all just happened in my imagination. Certainly though, there was an overwhelming force that came my way. As I believe they reached their breaking point, and uh, and they realized victory was was beyond their reach, and they just settled back and relaxed and decided to play. You know without any real consequence and often that's where you're gonna find success in things you do in life when you put too much pressure on yourself you know you psych yourself in it's like when you get into a room with somebody who you know is a good player who you know is a good player who you've had very little success against you're probably psyching yourself out for a loss already so just sit back relax have a good time anybody is beat anybody is beatable on any given day and uh, you know Eventually, your time will come, you know, but always, you just got to relax in your mind. Anyway, so there we go. Pretty well at a minute and a half left. Uh, they do manage to, uh, they managed to get the old Hertzman again. Yes, they did. That's my second time falling on the Merc side of things. Uh, Guliag throwing in, uh, sorry, I didn't save you. It's okay, sir. It's okay. The effort was there. Yes. I think he avenged me. I'm not, I'm not sure how that went down. I wasn't really paying close enough attention. You can see now the action has shifted to A. We got a little bit of action here, but uh, no, there was a man deep. He did manage to get in there and get this terminal going, and this is really going to be it. It looks like this could be their final push. It really depends on what kind of action. Well, what what uh, what Guliog does as he enters the sector. He's the first man on the scene. Will he shut down this hack with time to spare and give the man Yoshi here? Uh, the opportunity for A, but no, Yoshi decides I've got to make a run for it. Try and keep my man Rod Wrecker alive. Is that his name? Wreck Rodder? Red Rucker? I'm not sure what it was. But there he is right there, just hanging around at the hack, hoping I wouldn't spot him. But no, sir, you've been... Well, you've been made. And we shut him down at 36%. 17 seconds remaining. Will a hack get picked up? Could be. The, uh, the lack of any sort of spy presence here in C does hint towards that. Oh, and here we go. We do have a, what is this, a Rod Wrecker moving in? Yes, it is. Rock Redder. Yoshi is somewhere. Is he picking up a hack or is he just going to let it slide? He's in there trying to get a little revenge and he does. He does with a great little uh, display there at the end. Blinding me. Touched by the hand of God. He came in and sliced and does. And there it is. Some good numbers there for me. And uh, I'll tell you, they didn't do too bad, but again, I think there was just a little bit too much caution displayed by the two guys on the bottom level uh, at the start of this round, you know. Maybe they were just getting warmed up, I don't know. But like I said, they did come back the next round and beat us. I don't know if it was as embarrassing as I said it was, but they certainly did, you know, keep us at bay. They, they start, opened as the spies, they got some intel, as we did, and then we just, and then they just kept us on lockdown. We couldn't get it done, you know. So... Uh, and, and, th and that was that. So not too bad. The guys weren't too bad. You're not seeing them at their best. But I'm not here to show them at their best, am I? No, I'm not. Uh, myself, two. Two hacks, five defense, 27 and six. A Guliag right below me. Uh, not too bad. You see the inexperience there. Um, and, and of course, Yoshi and Rock Raider, well, they were worthy opponents. But, um, I don't know. It just, uh, things didn't go their way this time around. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed the double shot. Don't get used to it. Don't get used to it. The double shot is some Splinter Cell this week. A little classic, a little blacklist, and that's to make up for last week. And I hope you all appreciate Well, not necessarily appreciate it, but I hope you all enjoyed it, you know. Um, uh, until next time, well, remember why it hurts. Later, all.